Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Surviving Mars. We have got our big spire over here being constructed. We need three more polymers and a whole load of concrete to finish the construction of this one. Uh, we've also got a load of other materials being dragged in for other houses and stuff, but this is the one that they seem to be building first. I'm actually thinking it would be better if we build one of these first, so I'm going to uh, prioritize that one now. They'll take concrete to that one first, and then they'll start working on the others. Um, so we've got Earthsick colonists. We've also got a bit of a lack of food. So we've got food issues as well. 84 food on that one. Um, it's refueled. We're waiting on valuable metals and food and um, so on. So we'll let that one carry on unloading. Now, what are they doing at the moment? They're still taking it over to that one. Oh, no. Now they're taking it onto this one. That's good. So we get them out onto there. I've had an area scanned. I got that one there. We've got a whole load of um, anomalies down here that we want to investigate as well. I've got that one over there, the dredger, currently working, which we could actually overload. Uh, RT transport, RT rover, that one right there. That one's got a full battery. That one there has got a full battery. That one there has got a full battery, so we can deal with that. Uh, so I want to bring the rover over here. And i got another one that's going to be coming in down there. So I'm going to bring that rover over to there. This one over here, the Explorer. Uh, where are you? Oh, you're just there. Right, that's fine. And we'll bring that one in over here. And we're going to start uncovering some of these. We've got a load of anomalies down here that we're going to start him uncovering. And then I have also got the RC Transport right there. That one is traveling up this way. He's on his way to go and unload some more resources, so we've got a few extra metals in there as well. Now, it was suggested to me that we're busy doing these and deep scanning uh, out on this side over here, but why don't I rescan these areas first and deep scan those? Because we've also got a whole load of towers in here, which is going to make it a lot faster. So I'm going to undo the queue on all of those, and I'm going to start putting these scanning so that they'll do the deep scan. Which I think is an absolutely brilliant idea. So thank you very much for the suggestion. And we'll start working around there and up here. So we can deep scan those areas. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to find some extra resources on there as well. Which is absolutely brilliant and wonderful and awesome. We'll let him come up through there. And we can actually start speeding it up a bit now. So that's the stage that we're at at the moment. We've got some, um, we've got some people who are homeless. We've got 20 homeless people, 5 unemployed people. Uh, we could really do some extra stuff. Now, I was told that there is a shuttle thing. So, a shuttle hub. That one. House and refuel shuttles to facilitate long-range resource transportation By between the looks on the faces of the audience, your words have made a lasting mark. You not only managed to persuade the public to support our efforts, but also inspired millions of people around the world who watch the live stream. Your influence will aid the colony greatly. In fact, public opinion for Mars Alpha increased. Additional 50 applicants are available. I feel like a rock star. Uh, that was the interview that we were having about why we were looking at these dredges and what we were doing about these dredges. And, um, yeah, basically we said that we feel that the dredges are a bit of a threat to us and we don't want them to be a threat. So I, I do like the fact that it is now working. So we're going to take a look at the... We're just going to come down here a minute and I'm going to go to this one. If I go like that, and then I can boom that one. Um, when he gets there. Yeah. So we'll send those in, and we'll let them kaboom it. And then when they've done that, then we, we can worry about some other things. So, no, I want a shuttle hub. People are saying I really should be using the shuttle hub here. It's uh, really good at moving stuff between domes and things like that. So if I bring that one in here, I've got overlaps deposit. I'm not worried about that concrete deposit there. I'm going to drop that shuttle hub down there, and I think that might be handy. Um, and then I'm going to come over to this way, and where am I going to put another shuttle hub? Anomaly analyzed. I drop a shuttle hub down here somewhere. See, I don't really know how I'm supposed to, what I'm supposed to do with the shuttle hubs. So I'm just assuming that they they are used like in the middle here. So if I if I drop that one down there. Is that going to be the right sort of place to go? Right, new text. There's text. more to the barren environs of the red... Yeah, we've had that one plenty of times. Uh, we've got some new text available. Martian festivals, decorations of increased service comfort. Um, we're still working on this. Is it that one up there? Reju rejuvenation treatment. 
What's that? Localized terraforming, new wonder, Geoscape Dome. A slice of Earth on Mars. This dome has high comfort and increases the sanity of its ha inhabitants on every soul. It's a fixer upper of a planet, but we could make it work. Elon Musk. You know what that? Localized terraforming. I guess that would be pretty good, whatever that is. Water conservation systems. I want a bigger dome. I want yet bigger domes. That's what I'm really after. Okay, uh, come out of there. We'll leave that bit going. So I've got those. I've got these two hubs going to be built. I don't know when they're going to be built, but I'm hoping they will be built at some point. I want to take the RC Explorer right there and go and do the next one down there. This one over here is still overloading that one. I'm going to speed it up yet faster still. So I'm hoping that he will do something. And if we look at this, is it removing the resources? I don't know if it is or it isn't. But I did it, I did kaboom that one, so whether that's going to help us do something or not, I'm not quite sure. Um, we'll wait and see. Let's go back over here. Right, now we have got somewhere for colonists to live. We've, we've got an extra space for colonists to come and live. I'm hoping that that will mean that they come and actually live here. That that would be very, very, very cool if they would do that. We've got breakthrough discovered. Nocturnal adaptation. Oh, there we go. All colonists gain plus twenty performance during night shifts. Ideal. Uh, yeah. Well, that shuffle hub there. I'm guessing that will eventually come through. And there's still nobody allowed over here. Why aren't? They, uh, surely the colonists should be running out, uh, running up over that way. Anomaly found. Unless it's too far for them to go. It might be too far for them to go. Now the shuttle hubs, do they work automatically or not? I don't know if they work automatically. I've got no idea on that one. we got two more anomalies found over here. I've got, this is now scanning up there. I'm just going to scan around those areas there. Whether they'll find anything extra, I really have no idea. That, that, um, Resources are low. RC Explorer, let's go over to that one. We're low on food. Yeah, well, I know that we're low on food. That is something that I'm very conscious of. Something that we're going to need to pay attention to. We're going to have to pay close attention to that as well. There's, there's something that we're going to have to be very aware of and deal with whenever we can. What's going on here? Ah, I see. Right. They global load heavy. They load up. And then they fly over to the other one. How it works? I think so. So maybe I need more of those. I've got... I'm Sector going to put one scan. next to this dome over here. We've got this big dome over here. So I'm going to stick one up Anomaly on this side. Analyzed. Go to the shuttle hub. And I'll put that one... It's blocking... Anomaly is, found. Is that out of metal? I should put... Oh, I don't really know where to put this one. There. We'll go there. That's, that should be close enough. There's the hut. There's the shuttles. They're coming in. Oh, people are going and landing on them. They're, they're using them. Maybe I only need... No, I don't think I needed one. I think I wanted a few of them. I'm not quite sure, though, if I needed a few. But look at this. People are moving in here. People are actually moving in. That's, that's fantastic. Right, new techs available. We got anomalies found up here. I got two new anomalies found up there. These are scanning really, really fast. It's because I got all of those extra beacons going on them. Um, new text. More to the barren environment. Open up. Uh, no, I don't want to worry about that one for a minute. That's still just coming along steadily. I'm not, I'm not, there's not a lot else I can do there very quickly at the moment. Uh, I'll take you and you can go over to that one. No resource there. Buildings with depleted deposits, idle extractors. Right, let's slow things down a little bit a minute. Um, I got no metal here. So I'm going to have to destroy the building, which means those people have got nowhere to go and work. I'm not sure what those people are going to do. But also, because i got no metals coming in now, that's going to cause me some more problems. I desperately, desperately need metals. Remove that from the metals detected. extractor. An expected dredger over there, and then this one has landed. 10,400 water there, that's 13,863. I've actually got that one's close. Yeah, he's close enough. So I'm going to go to that one there and I'm going to get them to destroy it. Just like that. So we can take care of that one. Then you are analyzing an anomaly. You're fine. I think. Yeah, you're fine. Um, 
That's the, the shuttles are working quite well over there. And that one has now been destroyed. That's gone. So what am I going to do with all these people? I suppose I could build a research center. That's, they're completely full in there. And that one is full in there, the machine parts. Except that takes metals, which is a bit of an issue. I've got unemployed and homeless people over here. I need to move the people with the, the shuttles, I think. They, they, need to be, they need to be shunted around a little bit. Now, I've got farms in here. There's a farm there, and there's a farm there. I could put a farm outside. Actually, I will. I will build one farm here, which is going to... Uh, not inside, it's going to be an external farm. I'm going to go to life support. Fungal farm right there. That takes six, six workers on a single shift. And I'll bring that one... Where do I want to put that? I'll, I'll actually rotate that one around. Uneven terrain. There. If I put that one there, I'm hoping that that is actually close enough. They'll build that, and then we've got a little bit of extra food coming in as well. Right now, food is production 30, consumption 64. So we've still got some food issues going on. Look in the tower. This one is 70. We're almost finished building this tower, so we're going to have... Plenty of room for people. I got three people up here at the minute. Let's speed that up again. Another dredger. No resources. Low on food. That's fine. And no resources. Right. And low resources. Right. That one's going through there. That again was no resources. I'll go all the way around like that. We'll keep doing this. Keep working out. And there I have found some uh, not exploitable with our current technology. We can't get rare metals at a deep. I think Anomaly we've got. Found. I think I have got um, deep metals, deep metal extraction, but I don't think I've got the the. Well, I know that I haven't got the rare metal extraction. Now you over here, food has been completely removed, but we're still waiting on some exports there, which I think would be quite handy. Breakthrough discovered. Giant crops. Ooh, unlocks giant crops which have increased food output. That would be a good thing. I can do some outsourcing. I will do some outsourcing soon. I would like, I'm hoping, these two... Actually, I, I could do with them hurrying up and building these two farms over here so that I've got people working. If, they, if they'll build the two farms first, I've already got people there. That one just needs one single polymer, and then I've got that tower completed. So I've got plenty of room for people to go and live. We've got more shuttle hubs. These things seem really cool. <laughs> I really like these shuttle hubs. The way that they're buzzing around all over the place. Right, you down here. I need you to have uh, pipe production on there. I want to go to there and pipes. And which end does it need to go on to? Surely that's connected on it already. Or does it need to be up there? I've got a feeling it needs to be over there. Like that. Uneven. Yeah, that's what the problem is. It's the wrong way around. Unless it goes... Does it go there? Does it or not? Uh, no, it doesn't go under there. Right, I'm gonna have to destroy that. That one's that one's got to be gotten rid of. Let's get rid of you. Get rid of you, and then you are gonna have to be demolished because you you don't have any water there. So let's get rid of you as well. And we'll have to come back and we'll have to do that again. Uh, there's another ship there that's saying it's ready to go. Low. Get rid of that. And I'll rotate it round again so that we should then be able to keep this one here. Let me go and build another one there. I want a fungal farm and I want to rotate you round like that so that the pipes will actually go onto it. There we go. If I do it there, that will actually work. So then I've got my fungal farm, which is able to grow a little bit more. Zoom out a minute. That's the last one scanning. So I can go around and I can deep scan all of those there like that. Beautifully done. The shuttle hubs are working hard. That Oh, I've got another house over there that is now built. And the residents are starting to move in. That one just needs one more polymer to be finished. We've got the farms over here. These are finished. Stored food, 0 of 300. Wheat, 25%. Production, growth time. Okay, that's, that's all good. Can I select a new crop? Oh, you, um, you rotate the crops, don't you? Cover crop. Very low yield, but increases soil quality significantly, improving the yield of the next crop. Potatoes cause reduced yield of the next crop. Uh, low yield, but grows fast, requires less Resources water. Are low. Improve low yield, grows slowly, 
improves the soil, increasing the yield of the next crop. And that reduces the yield there on the potatoes. So really, we want to um, rotate them round like that. Now, I was told that uh, we need to be cycling our food round because um, it might not be in there yet, but it's de if it isn't in there yet, it's definitely going to be a thing that um, you need to cycle your crops through. If you don't cycle your crops through properly, uh, you do end up taking quite a hit in uh, food production. So we're going to have to remember that for the future, that we do actually need to make sure that we cycle our crops properly. And we got one of 32... Now the residents are moving in. Now they're all moving in. Right, if I right-click on here, uh, food production 59, consumption 48. That's much better. Sector scanned. Now I want to go... No, I don't want the dome. I want... Uh, Actually, I am going to take that one and I'm going to go for a nursery here. And I'm actually going to rotate that one round. I'm going to put in... I'm going to do a couple of nurseries. Like that. I'll have two nurseries. Because I got the other people in there as well. I think two nurseries should be enough. And then we've got a Hawking Institute. Generates research faster than a research lab. So we're going to take one of those... And I'm going to drop that one in over there. I'm also going to... Over here, I'm going to build a university. Trains specialists using modern remote learning techniques. So I'm going to put that one in there. So we've got a university. We've got a, a research lab. Uh, yeah, Hawking, it generates research much faster than a research lab. Eight people working per shift. So this dome over here is going to be dedicated to food and research. So I'll do that. And then I'll do another one. Have I not got room for another one in there? Why have I not got enough room? Surely I've put them in correctly. Oh, I know what I've done. That one there needs to go. I put it in the wrong place. It needs to be back there. Like that. And then I can put another one in. I can drop one in there like that. And I don't like that one there. I'm going to get rid of it. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go to the Hawking Research. And it's going to go... I wanted it that way. There. That's it. Now they're, they're even all the way around. That's, that's, that's exactly how I wanted it. And we've got two nurseries over there. I've got food production over on this side. I've got three food productions there. Sector scanned. Select a sector to scan. Ooh, all of the sectors have scanned. So let's go through all of those. Like that. Eight, nine. That's, that's all of those now scanned. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. That's awesome. I've got research facilities going on over there. I want some houses in here as well. Uh, but I also need some other bits in here. I need some services and things like that. Sector so, scanned. Uh, one, no, I'm not going to do those. Let's go to dome services a minute. And we're going to take a diner. We're going to put in here. Uh, let's put the diner down there next to the two nurseries. And then we're going to put a... I'm not going to put a gym. We'll put a grocer in there. We're also going to put an electronics store. Like that. And we're going to go for an art workshop. Sector scanned. Up there like that. So I've got a few different items. I didn't want to put a casino complex in. I'm deliberately avoiding putting that one in. And um, we've got garden there. That's only... Oh no, that's a big garden. Uh, I want to put a small garden there. That one can go right in the middle of that. And I want another small garden that can go into the middle of... Nope. Small garden that I can put into the middle of there. Uh, we're Research gonna put complete. an open-air gym in this one as well, which is... where Dredgers is that one? Detected. Another dredger. Open-air gym can go there like that. So we've got another area for people to go and use. Uh, this service comfort 50. I'm not really sure which else. Maybe I should put in another one of these. You know, because these, these do help people. They, they do seem to like going around these. Uh, Sector statue scanned. there in honor of the fact that's in honor of me. That's me. Well, actually, I don't think it is me, but um, yeah, I, I could say it was me. Uh, no, I'm not going to put that in there. I will. We, we will just do a garden. We'll put a garden up there like that, and then we'll go into this one. Oh, I've got a mega dome. 
Research gravity engineering to unlock that building. Okay, we'll we'll do that. Um, playground, research lab, Hawking Institute. Research lab is smaller though, isn't it? Yeah, so I can put two research labs in here. I'm going to put some more farms in here as well. We're going to go with a hydroponic farm there. And then I'm going to go for just an ordinary farm down there. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to put some more houses in there. I don't want to run out of places for people to live. So we'll drop in some more houses. So this dome as a whole has got 14 of 76 Sector colonists. Scanned. Is that all? I've only got spaces with 76 colonists in this entire place. Okay, uh, let's get rid of that one. You're going to have to go. Because I need more living quarters. I'm going to go for apartments in this one. There. That's a load more space. So now, 76. Uh, yeah, I, st I still need to grow these up. Uh, grow them. Build them. Right, we'll let all of those build up. And then we've got some metal extraction that we want to be doing over here that we're going to be working on very soon. So we've got a dredger that has Sector landed uh, expecting. 100,000 water we've got over here. Which is that one. Good gravy, man. That's loads. Let's come and scan all of those down through there. There's a load of extra bits to scan. I want to go to the RC rover down here. That, oh no, there's another one over there that we want to go to, so I'll take you over that Sector way. Scanned. RC Explorer. I'm going to bring that one over there and scan that area there. And then you, who currently have nothing to do, where am I going to take you? I'm looking at these Sector different areas. Scanned. 712 metals down here, so let's go to this one. Let's go to this area down here. I will put that down there. I'm actually going to do one of those again. I go load resource, I go all like that, and then I bring it up here. Sector and he'll scanned. unload it just up here. Unload resource. No, oh, no, 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 no. I keep doing that. I keep right clicking to get rid of what I've just done when I don't want to be right clicking at all. So we've got 130 resources right here. I'm going to. Let's bring it to this point. Sector scan. Load resource all right there. And then go all the way up here and unload it there. Right, and then that click. There we go. That's done. Bring all of those and then I can start working my way up through there. So we've deep scanned everything over here. I've got so much stuff to do with the Explorer. I've got loads of anomalies that we've now uncovered. I've got a load of power here that's not actually doing anything at all, which is not very Sector good. Sector scanned. So let's do something about that. Power cables. Bring you all the way down there Breakthrough like that. Breakthrough discovered. There. There we go. Breakthrough discovered. Superior cables. That one is instant and free power cable construction. Power cables do not suffer from power faults. Okay, that I feel would be quite handy. Uh, nocturnal adaptation. Giant crops. Where's the where's the um, the giant dome one? I had to research something about gravity. There's definitely something of microfusions, interplanetary, dream reality, Martian festivals, deep metal extraction. That's one that I want. I'll add that one into the queue. But no, there was one rover, Martian aerodynamics, Martian network, compact. Oh, there, that one. Gravity engineering. We've reached proficiency in engineering. It surpasses the most ambitious architectural achievements on Earth. So that's the next one that we'll add in. And then we can make the hugest domes of all. They'll be the biggest domes that the world has ever known. Uh, but right now, I'm lacking metal. I need deep metal extraction. That's actually going to be a bit of a problem. If I got the deep metal, forever young, that one there is deep metal extraction. I need that one to go to the top, actually. So then I can extract the metal. So I want to go uh, control, click like that. That one's now extracting. And outsourcing, I've got available funding 570. I can outsource a thousand. No. Let's not do that. But I've got these metals over here, and they're out of range. That's a bit of a nuisance. Sector <laughs> scanned. Okay, let's have a look in this dome here a minute. We've got 23 of 90 colonists in here at the moment. I've got another building there that will be built soon, and then we'll be able to do something with that one. Um, but we've got a serious lack of metals on this planet. Metals is going to be a bit of a problem. 
I could build an extract. I think I can build an extractor. It doesn't really matter at the moment because I'm not able to do deep metal extraction. Too far from domes. Unexploited, unexploitable deposits. Actually, I can do it. I can just reach it. it says it's a long way from the dome. That's fine. There's, tw there's 2,380 metals there, so I can definitely do that. Let me look around. Is there any other deep metal deposits i got another one up there i got one there and then we got more metal deposits over there which i can't currently reach but i will be able to at some point soon and we got all of this over here as well rc explorer sector scanned let's go up to that one up there and you i want to un yeah i want to destroy that dredger dredger number 11 let's come out a minute right i'm busy scanning all of those I can add in some more up that way. Right. All this stuff that we've got now. We've got a whole load of extra things here. This is brilliant. I just need metal. Metal is my big problem at the moment. I've got rare metals there, a deep one for rare metals. I'm not really worried about the um, the rare metals. That's not going to be an issue for us. Uh, but no, what I do need to do is I need to find a way to get some... Hello. We've got some damage coming in there. No, I really need to find... I need to get Anomaly some metal analyzed. extracted. New tech. more to the barren and... What's the new tech? Does that actually seem to show me? Is it that one? High power jet, shuttle cargo increased by three. That would be pretty good. This is coming along. It's going to take a while, but it is getting there. Right, now you here. 40 and 30 and you're empty, so you can go back to Earth. And you over here... You're also Sector empty scan. and reloaded and ready to go, so you can go back to Earth as well. So we've got uh, 1.5 million, 200,000 water we've just got there. So we've got loads of water coming in. My problem is that I don't have, like, mass... I think i got plenty of water. I think water is all right. Total demand for oxygen is fine as well at the moment. We will do some backup for that, but at the moment it's all right. Let's take a look in here. We've got only half shift on there. We don't even have we don't have a even close to a full shift on there. Two people working in there. This one over here has only got two people and it's a stopped work shift. That one's got one. I've got a distinct lack of people living in the dome. I've got 25 of the 90 people available. This one over here is going to allow another 24 people to live here. These I think take quite a bit though. That's going to be a bit of a problem for us. There's another shuttle hub. The building. Bring that one up. That's I'm hoping that will sort of increase scanned. the amount of stuff that is working in the area. Right, building not working. Why aren't you working? Oh, he is working. Right, that's fine. I may not have enough people here in this dome. That could be a bit of a problem. Yeah, I is prob. I'm I'm going to assume that it's okay. I'm assuming that we're we're all right on that one at the moment. Now, where was the C1? Wasn't it? I don't remember what the C9. Anomaly found. C2, C1 down here. No, it, was, it wasn't that one. So where is... Those dredges there, we've had... Oh, there's some polymers. We've got another anomaly. I thought I had another dredger come in, and that was actually closer to the base. I don't remember where I seen that dredger land. It wasn't there. Maybe I can just ignore it. No, it wasn't there. Um, I don't know. I thought there was another dredger that we'll, we'll ignore it for a minute and we'll see what else we can get. Um, these shuttle hubs, the, the shuttles are working really well. They seem to be doing everything that they need to do. Uh, I've got plenty Meteor of... Meteor shower I, incoming. Uh-oh. i got 126 metals at the moment. 28 food in... Uh-oh. Again. 25 food production, food consumption is 50. I, my food production is way down. I got a, a Food production is something that I've got to be concerned about because of just how low it is at the moment. What have we got over here? Funding received. 750 million funding. There should be another 750 million about to come in as well. Food. Yeah, this. well, this was supposed to be a food place rather than research. Because, like, this one here, this this can take a lot of people here. So maybe I shouldn't have quite so many of these. Maybe I should get rid of one of those. 
and just have one doing the research. And I've got another research lab over here as well. That one, again, isn't doing a great deal. Hmm. I don't know. Well, anyway, we're, we're currently working on deep metal extraction so that I can build a deep metal extractor over there. We're low on food. Let me go back to Earth. Go to the shuttles over here. We want to go to a cargo rocket. We got 2.16 million there. I could do... Do I just bring in food? Actually, I think I'm going to bring in more people. That might be a better way to do this. Just bring yet more people in. I've got 43 matching colonists. So I can just launch. I can take everybody with me. There we go. So I can launch that one. And then I can bring another cargo ship. What do we got? Available rockets. Do I go passenger rocket again? I've got 21 colonists there with a rocket capacity of 22. Or I could go for a cargo rocket this time and I could just um, shuttle in a whole load of food. If I do that... That's as much food, and then I got two million funding that I could use for localized research. I won't do that. I'm going to get as much food as I can for cargo capacity. There we go. Right, 200 food coming in on this one, plus 220 food coming in on the other one. I know it's an expensive thing to do, buying all this food. Dredgers detected. Good. We can go and take care of them. Dredger landing. Another dredger has landed on Mars. He's over here. So I want my... Uh, not transport. Oh, I want my rover. Bring you up there. And then you here. The RC... Not the... Yeah, the RC Explorer. I want you going onto that anomaly right there. And then you are sat not doing anything at the moment. So you've obviously extracted all the metals that you can extract from that one point. There's 11... 849 over there. Have a huge... I've got 66 over here. There. 112 right in this area. So let's try going to there. It'd be better if he could do a bigger area. It'd be much better if he could do a bigger area than what he is doing. I mean, he's still, do, he's still doing all right. He is doing an okay job. And then I unload resources there. So we he, have a food shortage. Uh-oh. Sector scanned. Anomaly found. Right, I knew there was going to be a food shortage. I knew this Break was going to be an issue. Discovered. Whole polarization. Where's that? Uh, actually, sure. What's it? Oh, it's that one. Buildings require maintenance less often. That would be a good thing. Uh, deep metal extraction is currently being worked on. And we've got sponsor 400, outsourcing 0, research labs 9, a uh, thousand Hawking Institute's 140. So we got the Hawking Institute is bringing us some stuff. It's just not quite enough yet. I've got currently I've got employment problems, but that's going to be taken care of very shortly. I've got two shuttles on their way. We've got 12 starving colonists. Food at the moment we've got 49 food. Food production is 28 and f consumption is 50. So I know that we do have this issue. We don't have any metal production at all at the moment. We, we're having some issues with metal production. Um, I know that the starving colonist thing is a bit of an issue, but we're taking care of it. It is being it, it is being taken care of. Trained scientists eager to discover the mysteries of the cosmos, resting in our ecology. She is a coward. <laughs> right, let me unpin these here a second, like that. And we'll keep the rest of them. We got these... The two shuttles are turning up. They will be here shortly. They will be here very, very soon. And then we're able to start uh, really boosting everything. Because we'll we've got space here for people to live. And then we've got a mountain of food coming in on these shuttles. Which is absolutely brilliant. I'm going to put one shuttle down there. Warning. Oh, we've got a red alert. The scanner's gone crazy with dozens of dredgers heading our way. The dredger transmissions repeat a signal we can interpret only as urgency eat dig. On the screen, they look like a swarm of locusts, and we presume their goal is similar. The mission sponsor has authorized a forceful response. Multiple dredges detected. They will arrive within five souls. Okay. Uh, let me just slow down a second. I've, you can come in and land. Let me just rotate that round a minute. There. Where are you able to... You can't land there. There we go. You can land there. And you can land... What have you got? 
Actually, it doesn't matter. They can both land over here. I'm going to put that one there. They can both land near this dome here. That's fine. Um, the food and everything else is, is just fine. I'm going to go over here with this one. We've got 1.39. If we go to cargo rocket and we go to the rover is the one with the drones. The explorer is the one that goes and then we've got the transport there. The RC transport. I want another rover. I can't get another explorer. But I can get another. Ro I can get one of these. Uh, so we're going to take. We're going to take uh, two of those. Three, four. We're going to get four of those. We've got 190 million funding left. That's all we can get. So we may as well take some extra food while we're here. Yeah, go for it. Just, just stock up on all the food that I can get. There we go. Right, launch. That's everything. Take you, and that's going to give us some extra ones to take care of those drones. All, all, yeah, all, all of the, not the drones, take care of all of the dredgers that are um, coming. Four souls, 22 hours. Building not working. Meteor storm. Uh, three colonists are sick. You. Over this way. And, yep, well, we got two of them coming in. Wow. Okay, so there's a lot of them coming in over here. That's fine. We go on to that one there and overload that one. And then, where else have we got them coming in? There's one coming in there. This could be tricky. This could be quite tricky to deal with. Uh, we've got a whole load of them coming in down here as well. Let's go to you. Colonists wow. are departing. Leaving? Space communism. Why are you leaving? I don't get why they're leaving. How are they leaving? There's no there's nowhere for them to go. That's not good. Middle-aged botanist not looking for a job. They're currently homeless. Uh, have I? New I colonists have arrived. Yeah, I got a load of new colonists here, and I've currently got homeless three people, vacant work slots disabled. I've still got that um, one structure there to be built. Vacant residential slots forty-three. Oh. They should be they should be able to come over here and move into the this building over here. They should be fine. I've got 56 of 90 people living here. That one's full 32 32. That one's got spaces. That one's got a load of spaces. And that one's got spaces as well. And we've got one over here the apartments that hasn't been built yet. We're waiting on some polymers. Oh, hang on. I got dredges going to be landing over here as well. Those dredges Anomaly are within analyzed. There's more to the barren and open. Uh, right, yeah, we're still going on the deep metal extraction over there. I still need that deep metal extraction. That deep metal extraction is the kind of the, the crucial bit here. That's gonna that's going to make the difference. There shouldn't be anybody starving anymore. That what that at least that bit should be taken care of. Yeah, we got 450 food. Production is up a bit. I'm gonna need to still increase the amount of production that we're doing with food. Um, but I should now have the job starting to fill up. Because I had all these extra people move in, the job should all be starting to fill up. Meteor incoming. Drones with no controller. What happened there? Sector oh. scanned. Ah, I see. Right, so I had one drone hub down there that got destroyed. Uh, let me leave you there a minute and go like that. I'm just going to slow that down a minute. And then I can go onto there, go into the drone hub, blocking object. I drop him there like that. And I will also put a storage universal depot, drop that down there. That should help the situation and get that one dealt with. So you there, ruins of an abandoned building can be cleared for resources. Well, we'll do that. And I think that's okay. Right, you are there, you are up there. Okay. Building's not working. Colonists have arrived. Time to impact. Right. That's, to, that's all taken care of. That's been dealt with. Now we've got the RC Explorer. He is over there. I can send him up onto the next one over there. That'll be fine. I'm going to need to get some rovers down here. I'm going to need some down here. We've got a lot. Look at all these dredges that we've got down here. This is insane. i gotta get. I got to get quite a lot of them down there. And then this RC rover over here, he's demolished that one. I'm going to move him over there. 
And hopefully those drones will go with him a bit. That one's safe. Right. This could be interesting. All these dredgers coming in, this this could prove most interesting and entertaining. Not quite sure how we, we... We do have a huge drone hub network now. So I'm hoping that the drones themselves, uh, just in our normal hub network, will be able to take care of a very, very large amount of these. And make it a little bit safer, a little bit easier to deal with. Right, you here. I'm going to prioritize construction in there. I need polymers. What about you? What are you after? Uh, building is waiting for some... Why have I not got... Polymers. I got 24 polymers there. I got 463 fuel. Okay. Production can. Oh, production is not exceeding consumption. Those are busy running around. All right. Let's let's speed things up. There we go. Uh, we've got water is doing fine. Upgraded. Amplify. Upgrade already constructed. Okay. Um. No, I've got... I'm, I'm actually running on a lack of fuel at the moment. Fuel refinery there. That one's already upgraded. In order... To order the construction of a building upgrade, press the upgrade button. Anomaly analyzed. It's already upgraded. Upgrade already constructed. I'll leave that running. Okay, and then you in here, you are lacking some resources. You need metals. That's fine. Gained 1,500 from analyzing that one. So let me go back to the uh, explorer there. Over to you. And where else? Have we, where do I need you to go now? You, you've got all the, all the way over here. So you can come over to that one. Um, and then I've got this one here needs to land. And well, we'll land you right in the middle. I'm going to drop you down here. You... I still got 104 food on board, so I'm going to leave you right where you are. I'm not going to change that at all. I'm st I'm st going to be run out of time very soon, so we're not going to be able to finish all of this. I think with the whole dredger impact thing is going to have to wait until our next episode, which could be I, I don't know how long that's going to be. Let's see. Right, so I got the polymers over there. I've got fuel being made. I got loads of fuel being made. And the fuel is being made up here. And then this one here is the polymer production. 9.7 polymers on there per sole. This dome here has 106 vacant work Research slot 3. Complete. Oh, deep metal extraction is done. Brilliant. Let's go over here. Now I can get into that deep metal extraction there. Now this dome here has got 62 of 90. Seven vacant work slots and 22 residential slots vacant. I still haven't finished building this place yet. We shouldn't have, overall, on our base, we should no longer have anybody homeless. Nobody's homeless. We've got two renegades. Unemployed looking for work, vacant work slots, disabled work slots. Uh, what am I supposed to do with renegades? Sector scanned. I think I need to, I need to work on that. There's something that, there's something that we're going to have to have a look at later on. Right, um, no, hang on, I got a whole load more of these, so I want one RC rover there. I'm going to bring that one down over here so that we've got one there ready for those dredgers. And then that one there, I'm going to bring down over there so he's ready for those dredgers. This one is going to go there so he's ready for those dredgers. And then that one, oh, we've got another one over there. That one there is going to have to be up here. Where's the other dredges coming in? I've got more coming in up here somewhere. Didn't I have one up here? I thought we had... Oh, yeah, we've got impacts coming in up here. I've got that guy... The oh, explorer he's that one. made a thorough scan of the anomaly site, but couldn't find anything unusual. Or were they? An anomaly was successfully analysed. Right, I got one up there. Let's have a look round. What's that? Oh, that's that's an actual meteor shower that's coming in. And then I've got dredger um, landing site. There's only one there. All right, well, we'll ignore that bit. So where am I going to go? I've got one more um, rover. Oh, we'll bring that one over here. We've got uh, another area of them over here. And we can come into that bit. Let's see, what do you got? 
You have 25 of 30. You've still got 71 food on board. You've got 10 food on board, but you're loaded. You're almost emptied out. You have got nothing and nothing. I've actually said to turn off the exports on you. If I go like this, I can see on there I've got 28 rare metals in total. So I may as well send that one back. You. You've got nothing on board. I'll send you home. You can go. Anomaly was successfully analysed. Anomaly found. Uh, anomaly found. One over there. Let me zoom out a minute. And I want to get... Not the rover. The explorer. He's down over here, look. I'm going to bring him up over here. And we're going to go on to that bit right there. So I've got some more area for him to explore. Those dredgers are going to be in here another two days. We've got two souls until they turn up. Now we're talking. Found. This one's been built. So we, we've got everything built here. i got plenty of room for people here. The next thing that I want up on this bit is I need metals. I need to get the, the metals being extracted, which is a production uh, metals extractor. And if I drop that one down there, that's too far from the dome. There, though, is within range. So I can drop that one down there, and then we've got a metal extractor. The next bit of research that we're doing is the Forever Young breakthrough which I don't really want at the moment no the one that I want next is not that one gravity engineering I want that one and I actually want to put that one at the top of the queue gonna take a while to get through that one but we will get we'll get that one done as well and then nocturnal adaptation gain 20 um, no giant crops yeah that one might be a good one we'll do that one there we go Okay, so they will be able to build the absolute hugest dome of them all, which is, we got those. That, Sector scan. I can't even take it out to see the blueprint, just to see the print of it on the ground. I would like to be able to do that. Zoom out, take all of those. Right, we're slowly getting through. We're, we've almost finished scanning absolutely everything on this map now. I've got, why have I got three here? What's going on? I told you to leave. I've already told you to take off. Go. Take off. There's nothing on board. You can just take off. I'm telling you to leave. Initiates launch sequence. And that one right there, I'm telling that one Resources to leave. Resources are low. And then that one right there. All right, he's going. Oh, he, he, he has left now. Right, that one's still got 51 food on board. Discovered. Ready for takeoff. Why aren't you leaving, though? I don't get why he's not leaving. Uh, zero space computing. Zero space computing. Research lab and Hawking Institute upgrade. Research point production increased. Well, that would be good. Hull polarization. Buildings require less maintenance. That, again, is good. Nocturnal. Yeah, they're all good. This is all good stuff. We, we like all of these. It's just a question of getting them at the right time. Right, so I got that one. I want to bring him over there and he can analyze that next bit. And we have got up here. Oh, the spire needs some help. What's wrong with you? The building has malfunctioned. Drones can repair it with four polymers. Do I have enough polymers? Is that... Has it been requested? Oh, maintenance already requested. That's fine. Okay, so they've already requested the maintenance. That's, that's okay. Let's take a look at this one. The general average comfort is 63. Average morale is 67. That's not bad. That's that. I think that's okay. That is an acceptable sort of level of everything, isn't it? Um, Anomaly found. I'm going to go there and I want to go to power, power cables. And I can run a power cable straight out of there like that. And then to that point and then over to there like that. And that's going to join in. So I'll, that'll give that one there some power, which means that then we'll be able to have the people coming here and working. So the geologists, they are in their correct workspace employment, um, so on and so forth. They're happy. That's, that's where they should be working. I just need some metals in order to work that bit. And metals are the bit that are currently low. We're, we're waiting on metals. I was using the RC... Anomaly analyzed. New text available for research. Right, let's take you again. And where's the next anomaly that I want to research? Analyze. Up there. Go to that one. And then I want to go to the transport machine down here and if we look through 
I got 98 down here. This is this one down here. It, it seems very slow gathering anything. They seem to be sort of very long. Yeah, uh, very spaced out. Very um, long distances in between all of them. Um, if I go there and then I sector scan load resource all. Take that all the way up there. I've got another patch of dro uh, dredges, dredgers that are coming in. And then we unload that one there like that. Right, what's going on? You're not taking off for some reason. I don't know why. You, however, I want you to unload. Funding received. 750 million in funding. Ideal. That's good. And then up here we've got... Metal production is now online. Excellent. That's what I want. Right, you have vacant work slot 7, 36 vacant residential slots. I'm going to increase the number of shifts that we're working in this building so that we get some more metals being produced. We want metals being produced here as rapidly as possible so they can spread out across the rest of the base. Geologists coming in here, they'll be happy. Everybody's, everybody's going to be happy. It's all going to be wonderful and tickety-boo. You need polymers three polymers they should be on their way i hope uh time to impact two hours i'm actually going to stop right there because it says time to impact for the dredgers two hours uh we're going to carry on with this next Anomaly time analyzed. so if you enjoyed this episode then please hit down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is frithgar goodbye and see you later